guys it's Ashley welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me for another video today hope you're all doing very well and having a great week today I have an exciting video for you guys if you follow me on Instagram you are already prepared for the contents of today's video but if not let me fill you in so you may notice a new item there behind me I did finally get a display case for my Chanel pieces so I thought today we would talk about handbag displays and handbag storage. So I'm going to start out by sharing with you guys my new Chanel display case, followed by my Louis Vuitton display case. And if you guys have been following, following me excuse me, for some time now, you have probably already seen the Louis Vuitton display case. However, I have made some changes and some updates, so I thought it would be helpful to include both of those together. So let's start by checking out my Chanel display case. So now we're going to have just a quick overview of my Chanel display case before I go into each area in detail. And again, I already have this display case open. So on the very top here, I do have my Chanel Chainer on Maxi. And behind that, I have my monogram V Louis Vuitton number four MM just because aside from my bag of the day that was the final bag that I needed a place to place it and next level here I have my medium large classic flap I have my Chanel number no. five perfume and then I also have my lambskin card holder with the silver hardware. And coming down here to the next level, this is probably one of my favorites. You will see I did get this jewelry holder here. And I will talk about that some more here in a moment. Because I did have a lot of questions where I purchased it from. But it does have a glass lid. But since it is within my glass display, I do have it open. You'll see that I have my Chanel earrings, my two Chanel brooches, and my Chanel necklace. Then I have my Chevron wallet on chain, my Coco Noir perfume, and I just have a little camellia there for fun. And coming down to the next level here, we are getting a little low. I have my Le Boy new medium in the double stitching. I have my Chevron card holder. And I have my, <clears throat> excuse me, um, small O case. Okay, guys. And last but not least, getting a little low here, my final two bags. In the back here, I have the small cocoa handle. And then in the front, I have my rectangular mini in the pink lambskin. So that is my Chanel display case. I am very, very happy with it. And I absolutely love how it turned out. Alright guys, so that was my Chanel display case. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that little section and hopefully it will be helpful for you guys in thinking of ideas to display and store your handbags. So for anybody that is interested, this display case I originally saw on Ikea. There is one on Ikea and it is called uh, Detolf, I believe. I'll put the name down below. But I opted for this. I actually ended up purchasing this on Wayfair.com. It is a little bit different only in the sense that it does not have a hole cut out on the very top of the display up there for a custom light. But otherwise it's exactly the same measurements and all. I opted to get mine from Wayfair because although it was a little bit more in price, I ended up paying about $120 for it. It was free shipping. Whereas the Detolf model from um, Ikea was only $69. However, the closest store to me is two and a half hours away. So one, either I have to take the time out of my day to go there, or two, 
I just checked just to see and it was $250 to ship it to me. So crazy, but very, very happy with it. But there are at least two options for you guys uh, where you can look to find a similar case if you you are interested. And then the other question that I, I got a lot of inquiries about was my uh, jewelry holder that you'll see right there where I have all my Chanel jewelry. I actually purchased that from a place called gemsondisplay.com. Um, I'll link that down below. I've actually purchased several pieces from those guys. So uh, if you're interested, feel free to check them out. They do have several variations as far as what the inner compartment looks. So I opted for the option that had uh, four compartments, but there are ones that have more compartments if you would like. So again, I will put all this information down below. So now that we have looked at and discussed my Chanel display case, let's check out my Louis Vuitton display case. All right, guys, so first I am just going to give you a little overview of my Louis Vuitton storage shelf, and then we'll go over each shelf individually. So on the top here, you can see that I have my two Almas. I have my Mir Alma. And then I have my Roses Alma, and both are in the MM size. And then I have my clay display, which is a rotating display. Very, very nice. It does turn. And I'll just give you a little overview here of the various clays that I have. I have a few other clays upstairs that are currently in use. And since I have downsized my collection, I do have some open spots. So that is very, very nice. So then moving down to the next level here, I have my Ramages Speedy 30 and my Graffiti Speedy 30. And the shelf is adjustable. As you guys can see there, the little pegs along the side. I did adjust this shelf, which perfectly accommodates my Speedies to make room for my bag charm display. So this is the next level. As you can see, this is my bag charm display. And again, this is rotating as well. If you guys would like to see, again, I did previously film a video on this display. And during that, I went more in depth into both the clay and bag charm displays. So that is that. And then you can see in the back there, I do have my twin set in Rose Ballerine, now known as the Twice. And then my white multicolor mini Speedy HO. And finally, my watercolor Speedy. And pardon me, guys have to get a little low for this next one. So the next level here, you will see that I have my monogram Alma in the PM size. And I have my monogram mirror Speedy in the gold. And then finally getting really low here. Just a little shot. This is where my pochettes live. So I have my multicolor pochette plot GM. I have my eclipse pochette, my perforated pochette, and my roses pochette. And then I have my palace chain and cerise, and my eclipse speedy 28 with the gold sequins. So that is my Louis Vuitton display case. Don't hesitate if you guys have any questions. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed seeing my Louis Vuitton display case. 
both of my display cases are located in different rooms of my home so they are a little bit different because they are both kind of made to uh, blend in with and match the room of the house that they are in but I love both of them they're both very very helpful uh, as far as the Louis Vuitton display case my father did actually gift that to me uh, he is a collector and somewhat of a dealer in antiques and he had that for some of his items, wasn't using it anymore, so he did go ahead and give that to me. Uh, as far as the other displays, both the clay display and the bag charm display, I also purchased them from gemsondisplay.com, which again will be listed down below. They have lots of really neat displays. They have um, lots of retail type displays if you will so even aside from the things you're seeing here on this video you might find some other items that you like so definitely check that out so I hope this video was helpful guys I hope you enjoyed seeing both my new Chanel display case and my Louis Vuitton display case uh, lots of the information will be listed down below but if you guys have any questions please don't hesitate I'll be happy to answer them for you and before we say goodbye, I would just like to point out my bag of the day back there, which is my beautiful Chanel Jumbo in the black caviar with the silver hardware. The display case is proving to be very, very helpful. It holds all of my Chanel bags except for one, which is perfect because I always have a bag of the day. So thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.